What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I hope you're having an amazing day. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a stable version of Gcam 7. So again, over here we have a Gcam 7.1 and as Google Pixel 4 is about to launch in next week, finally we have a stable version of it. And then again, just a small message to you guys. I don't know what's wrong with YouTube, but my videos are not getting recommended anywhere and not even getting notified to my subscribers. So it would be a lot of help if you just come across this video and if you just found it helpful, please drop a like and share with your all of the friends or just tech groups. It would be a lot of help, guys. I just don't know what's wrong with YouTube, but let's just leave that aside and just take a look. So again, over here, as you can see, I have a Redmi Note 7 Pro with a Pixel Experience 10 ROM running. So again, in order to work this camera on most stability, Android 10 ROM is actually recommended over here with, I mean, Pixel Experience is just an exception because it has all the Pixel stuff. So let's just launch the camera directly right over here. And as you can see, the UI is pretty much the same, but there are a lot more social and daily features added right over here. So for example, as you can see, the UI is still the same. You do get night side, lens blur, everything right over here rather than being into the mode. So again, there is no night mode in this one. This is a plain Gcam, but lens blur, as you can see, completely crashes on the Redmi Note 7 Pro. Might work on the different devices, but again, the stability varies from phone to phone. So if you just wait about a week, you can just check this video after like two to three days and I will upload a Gcam which has all the fixes like saturation and the portrait mode for the Redmi Note 7 Pro. It uses a 48 megapixel camera which has a different color sensor. So again, if you just capture anything on this Gcam, it will come out just completely colorless. So again, you can just check this video after a few days and I will post a fixed one in the description. So just taking a look at over here, you have all the settings right over there. Then again, you have video which does have video stabilization completely working as you can see the ui is very smooth when compared to the gcam 6.3 because it had a bit of a lags when compared to the older ones like the 6.1 and 6.2 then again going to the more you have panorama photosphere slow motion is of course broken on pretty much all the phones time lapse and the lens which are just completely normal features so directly going to the normal camera, you get to see a lot of adaptation from different companies. For example, best one, Samsung. Like they have added so many features that just completely reminds me of my Galaxy S10. So again, they just go here. These are all of your quick toggles. I'm not a huge fan of it. I mean, there is a lot of space wasted over here, which can be actually covered. But as you can see over here, you have the HDR toggles, RAW or JPEG. Then again, you have motion. Now the motion photo is disabled because I'm using HDR Enhance. There you go. Then again, HDR Enhanced is completely working. So if you just try this APK on different kind of phone like Redmi Note 4, this Gcam is one of the best ones. So again, then you have timer, flash. So directly go into the settings. Now we have save location camera sounds just as before, but now you do have save selfie as previewed, which is nothing new, but just added onto the Gcam as a normal feature. You don't have to just enable it. Then you have framing hints and social share. Now framing hints is something I thought it would work like a Galaxy S10 Plus. So for example, let me just bring mine. Unlock it directly right over there. Go into the camera, wide angle. If I just uh, try to move on the camera, as you can see, it detects the human right over there and tells me where the best shot is. Now it's something like that, but onto a very lesser scale. So for example, if I'm just trying to take a selfie, and if I just uh, hold my face right over here, it should actually tell me to just bring my face to the center of the screen but it just doesn't do anything according to xd it should work like that but as if right now it just doesn't do anything then again you have a second feature new here which would be social share now again as it says it gives you a quick option to just share the photo with any kind of your social media so again it pretty much supports all the apps which are popular for their social sharing platform so for example right now i have enabled for instagram stories so if i just go back and click a picture there you go I quickly get an option to share it with my messages or just my Instagram stories, just really like that, which is very handy and useful. Again, the colors are washed up because of the Redmi Note 7 Pro's camera, but it should be working fine on your phone. But again, I just thought it would be something like this as it was previously found in the code. So for example, on my Galaxy S10, I can just directly go to far left, which I've kept for the Instagram mode. Now the Instagram mode over here completely has all the options for HDR video recording, HDR into the pictures, flash, OIS, and all the lenses while even recording. And then again, if you post anything through here, just directly like that, it uploads in very high quality when compared to the Instagram mode's camera. But then again, it's pretty much very bare bones right over here. They can just provide for pretty much all the apps. It would be a very big clutter. But then again, Pixel has their special chips which can actually enable HDR mode for Instagram and Snapchat just like iPhones. So that's that. Then again, there are many more features which are actually still hidden like astrography mode. Then again, frequent faces which don't actually still make sense. 
So again, scrolling down, you have gestures, advanced, pretty much nothing over here. This is a completely base Gcam, which you actually get on the Pixel 4. So there is literally nothing added right over here. So again, you have the camera resolution full or medium storage because pretty much Pixel phones get backed up everything to the Google Drive. Then again, going back, you have ultra resolution for video. It states 4K over there. Now, pretty weird thing is it doesn't say resolution like how many megapixels or the resolution of the photo or even the resolution of the video. It's very childish, which I don't know many pixel users will like or not. But then again, you do have video stabilization option right over here. And that's pretty much it for the Gcam 7.1. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is the stable version of the Gcam that you would be seeing this year on the Pixel phones coming in next week. And then again, if you want me to make videos on more Pixel 4 stuff, like for example, this Pixel launcher. Again, there is nothing new special about it. But as you can see, welcome to your newer Pixel. It gives me tips for pretty much everything. As you can see, quickly right over there. Or the Pixel themes app. So for example, I quickly have option for styling my Pixel phone, just like right over here. I can make custom themes like fonts, icons, accent, then I can the icon shape, and then I can just apply the theme right over there. As you can see, completely works. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Don't forget to share and subscribe. Peace.